Hi everyone and welcome back to my video series where I explain how to do nonograms. If you are new to nonograms and don't yet know the goal and basic rules for completing this type of puzzle, I recommend you stop watching this video right now and go watch my first video where I have that information for you. Then come back and watch this video where I explain strategy number one. And if you would like to have a paper copy that has every single nonogram I'll be talking you through in this video series, visit my Gumroad shop where you can purchase a PDF file. And the PDF file has all 27 nonograms that I will be talking you through in this video series. It's only $1. It's not necessary though. If you just want to follow along, that's fine too. So let's get to our first strategy you can use when completing nonograms. Take a look at this nonogram. The first thing you want to do when starting a new nonogram is to look at the size of the puzzle. You want to count the boxes left to right and top to bottom. And we can see this puzzle is five by five. It's one, two, three, four, five boxes wide. One, two, three, four, five boxes from top to bottom. And that's important because our first strategy, I call it the 100% strategy. It deals with number clues that are equal to 100% of the width or the length of the nonogram. So this puzzle is five by five. And so right away, you should see a couple clues that are fives. Strategy number one says that if a clue is equal to 100% of the length or width, then you get to fill in every single box in that row or column. So check it out. This puzzle is five boxes wide. Here's a five. So in our first row, we know we've got to fill in every single box. There we go. The first row is finished. Now we've got another five right in the third column. And so that also tells us every single box in the third column must be filled in. And if you remember from watching my first video, when you know some boxes should not be filled in at all, you need to put a dot or an X in the box to show that that box should stay empty. In computer programs, some don't let you do that. This one does not let me put a dot or an X, but it will turn the box white. So take a look. We know in our first column, we only need one box filled in. And it's done. That box is filled in, which means all of these should not be filled in. If you're filling this out at home, put a dot in every one of these boxes. That tells us this column is done. And of course, you've noticed three of the other four columns are exactly the same. We need a box filled in. We have one box filled in. These should not be filled in. Same thing here. Same thing in the last column. And check it out. Our nonogram is finished. We have the letter T. So using strategy number one, gives us a result of the letter T for our first nonogram. Let's do another one using strategy number one. So if you've printed out my PDF file, look for nonogram labeled strategy 1-2. That's where we are now. And remember, the first thing you do when completing nonograms is you look at the size of the puzzle. And we see we have another one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. It's another five by five nonogram. And so we want to look for number clues that have the number five and we see three of them. And remember the 100% strategy, strategy number one says, if the number clue is equal to the number of boxes in the column or row, you fill in every single box. And so that's what we're going to do. That column is done. Here's another column with a five. That column is done. And then we go to the row that has a five and we complete it right there. And then again, at home on paper, you want to put in dots or small X's for every box you know shouldn't be filled in. And let's look at these row clues. This row says we need one box filled in and then one or more empty boxes and then one more box filled in. Well, look at what we've done. We already have that. Here's our first box filled in. Here's our second box filled in. We know these should be filled in because of the 100% rule. 
So we know these three in the middle should not be filled in. Okay, look at the second row. It's the same thing. So we, here's our box to fill in. It's done. We know these boxes should not be filled in because here's the second box to fill in. Now we could do this with columns too. This column says we only need one box filled in. We have one filled in, which means these are not filled in. Same thing here, same thing here, and there we go. Our second practice nonogram for strategy number one is done. It's the letter H. Amazing. Now, if you're thinking, well, these are really simple. Well, yeah, we're just starting out here. We're going to learn the basic strategies before we get to do some really complicated nonograms. So I think that about wraps it up for strategy number one. It's pretty simple. You're looking for number clues that are equal to the number of boxes in the row or column. If you see that, fill in every single box in that row or column. Be sure to watch my next video where I explain strategy number two, which is considerably more interesting than strategy number one. As always, I really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe if you like these videos. If you'd like to check out my nonogram book for beginners, click on the Amazon link in the description below. Thanks for watching.